Hey, this is a tutorial on how to get all of the time charms in the new Rift update in Hypixel Skyblock. If you're seeing this as a short, on my actual YouTube channel, there is a video on how to get every one of them. Or, you can watch all these shorts one by one, do what you want, I don't care. First thing you want to do is talk to this person over here after going to the Black Lagoon. And they'll ask, hey, do you want to slay some leeches? And then, you click on that. So what you have to do is you have to come in here and you have to kill the supreme leech supreme so once you defeat the leech supreme also you have people help you if you want you'll get eight leech supreme fragments and 3000 motes which is pretty nice you can see the crafting recipe for the supreme time germ for this you need 32 little pads you can see that all you have to do is sit in the water for a second and a leech will spawn now, for the Deadhog Spines, you just have to kill Deadhogs. So once you have that, you want to come up here, you want to talk to the Artifei Bug Hunter, take some Silk Wire Hook, then you want a Larva Hook, and you want your Bottles. You're obviously going to get some Larva. Now, with your Larva Silk, you want to look for one of these, the Odotanas, and then you want to put down the Silk somewhere, and then use your Silk Wire Hook to go across, use your Bottle, and hold right-click. And it will say it's Bottling, and then it will say, oops, because I suck at this. Then if you fill it, you get the bottle of Odotana. And then you get four of those, and you have the Supreme Time Charm. Okay, now it's time for the second Time Charm. And for this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to talk to, to Shania. And I don't get it because I already have it. But what she'll want you to do is she'll want you to get... She'll give you the wand of farming, and you're going to need to go farm 40... Wilted Berberis, and then she'll want you to farm 40 Cacodus Stem, and 40 and 40 Agarius Cap. Once you get that, she will give you um, the thing to put in the middle, how to actually craft the chicken and egg time charm. Now with that, you're going to need to get You're gonna need to make a Berberus a Berberus blowgun. I cannot speak today. With that, you're going to shoot chickens into the air like this, and then shoot them when they're in the air to get metaphoric eggs. With that, you get the proto chicken. Obviously, that's what you have to make this. Then you need eight metaphoric eggs, two bloated Berberus bunch, one Agarius cat bunch, and one Cactus stem bunch. With that, you can create the chicken and, chicken and egg time charm. And that's the second one down. Now it's time for, in my opinion, the worst time charm to get. Actually, second worst. There's one worse than that, trust me. So, if you're at the Dread Farm it, from Baba Yaga, you go from here and you go to this house right here where you can go into the mirror verse. Now, in the mirror verse, it's all mirrors. You talk to this person, they'll tell you what you have to do, and then you can flip the levers and you can go down. Now, this first room. You can all you can do it, but me personally, I'm a big fan of just kind of jumping across it and praying. This room really confused me. So in this one, you need to kill something like this, then you get slime ball backwards, and then you kill like, then you'll kill that, and you'll get oak wood plank, where you can make stick but backwards. And with that, you have to make these items here. But, here's the confusing thing. You have to make all the crafting recipes backwards. So you make the fishing rod backwards, you make the boat backwards, you make the lead backwards. Once you get that, you put them in here like this. You put fishing rod, fishing rod, bow, lead, bow. Since it's backwards, you have to flip these still. And then, you can craft something with those. That being this right here. The hammer, or whatever it's called. With that, you can hit the button and then go through. Now you're into the parkour room, where, as you can see, you look up and you see what you're supposed to go to, where you're supposed to go, and if you go to the wrong one, you go into the lava, and you get three strikes, unless you want to do the hard mode where you get a talisman. This, in my opinion, is the coolest part of this, where you have to do these puzzles, and it's like this. You click this side, now you're active in this side, you click this side, you're active in this side, so you have to do that, then you go here, so you go back here. You go like this, and then you go like this, and this, and this, this, 
and this, and then the doors open. This one is pretty easy once you realize what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go here, and you're supposed to go here, do this, over here, hit the button, run over to here, and then you get bounced up into there. I did, I messed up though. Now you're up here, you hit the button, hit this, and then you go over to here, you get up, you go in here, where then you tap this, and you can leave, and the door's open. This room's completely optional, I've still never done it. Um, skip room. This sucks, okay? If you can get someone to do this for you, do it. Because you have to go like this. And if you have any, and I mean any delay, it sucks, okay? And I get to skip it because I got someone to do it for me. Because the door will open still. So if you can get past Drain's room, feel free to. This one is fun, in my opinion. It's my favorite part of it. So for the final room, you get this Emmet pointer where you have to do that. And then it shines where the block is. And you have to do some parkour. Let's see how far... Oh, okay. And then there's checkpoints if you want to use them. But I have apparently never done any checkpoints, even though I have. And then, yeah, once you're done, you go to the top. Then once you're in here, you can talk to the Dr. Emmett, open his shop, and you can get the Mirrorverse Time Charm. And that is how to get the third Time Charm. Now, in the Village Plaza, to get the Time Charm, what you want to do is walk into here. And there will be a lot of protesters around here. And to do this Time Charm, you have to talk to Barry right here. All these people will usually be protesting out here, and they're like, and Barry will be saying there's a big mob, where you have to talk to these people, right? Like, they might be right here. Where you have to do various things, like help someone with their taxes, which is very annoying. It was not fun. It's 33% that person has to pay, by the way. I don't remember any of the other stats. Um, someone you have to help with their homework, or lag, or personal problems, where you have to give them an inspirational quote. And at the end of that, you will get Barry's pen, or the election pen. Where you come over here, and if you have 16 scribe trucks and Barry's Mont, Mont Grey pen, you can buy the next one, the Sky Skywalk Citizen one. Um, I just realized that I can't really do much in here because I don't have my pickaxe. I have a sword and, instead of the pickaxe. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna kill some of these. Which I don't have any of those drops, so I gotta kill one real quick. And then what you want to do to kill these is you want to break these glass things that they spawn. And then once you kill it, you'll get nullified metal, which can turn your tactician murder weapon or your leech sword into a self-recursive pickaxe. With 25, 24 wilted berberus and 6 nullified metal, making it so you can mine the living metal and... Mining the living metal makes it so you can turn, get things like the auto cap right here. And the auto cap is then you can juice up your armor, as it's called. Or I guess, you know, living metal percent. I just say juice up your armor. Um, which makes it so once you make the entire set 100% juice, you can go into the frostbite area. In the frostbite area, there are things like these guys right here. And with these, you have to hit them to the lowest you can, and then you have to break all of the ice that surrounds them once they get to that point, before they blow up. Then you kill them and get Frosty Crocs. Once you have Frosty, 20 Frosty Crocs and 160 um, Living Metal, you can make the Living Time Charm. Now it's time for the Coliseum, where it takes 15 minutes of your rift time, but that's fine, I'm only going to be in here for a little bit. Now to start the fight, you need to hit these guys into back knee, as I like to call him, because I think that's his name. There you go. And now once these are in, you'll see that he starts growing tentacles. Now there's five phases to this, but the fifth phase is pretty much just a free phase for fun. I suggest doing this with a party because it gets kind of annoying. So once you break the tentacles, there is something that spawns in. Don't die, by the way. If you're alone, then it restarts the boss. Um, time is halved in here, as it says at the start. There you go, I killed the, that. So now he's shrinking down to be really small, where you have to hit him, and you do 200 damage, and then he'll grow big again. And then it'll enter the next phase. 
Once you complete all five phases, you will get um, eight Bacni fragments. Now with the eight Bacni fragments, what you want to do is back T, back T. I said it right this time. With the eight Bacni fragments, you want to put the eight in a circle in the crafting table. So you want to make it go around like this. And then you want to put 20 Shy Cruxes in the middle and then you get the, I'm not even gonna try to say it. I'll probably say something stupid again. Now it's time for, in my opinion, the worst time charm. The final one. I had entered the rift 134 times before I got this time charm. Now, could I have done it faster? Possibly. Did I do it as fast as I tried? Definitely. So, you get this after doing a few things. Like, you have to completely repair the perk. The, uh, here, let me just go there. So, once you go, if you go to the Gilman Eye, and you talk to Reed, he will give you stuff that you need to give to him. So, you need to give him 16 Larva Silk, 64 Wilted Berberus, 128 Half Eaten Carrots, 1 Living Metal Anchor, and 8 Bacti Fragments. Now with all of those, you can spend 25,000 moats and get the Rift Boat. Now with that, you go into the Barrier Street area, and you have to do this. Now, I did this somehow. If you don't want to, you can pay 150,000 and skip it like I did. Um, after of course, because I'm stupid and didn't realize I could do that. What is that? Okay. So, with that, if you have the boat and talk to Deer, he will send you right over there. But first, what you should definitely do, don't do what I did because I had to pay 150,000 modes to come back, is take the Montezuma Soul, but then you talk to Deer and he'll send you straight over to here where you see Maddox the Slayer. Now you talk to Maddox the Slayer and you can do Rift Stalker Blood Fiend. Yeah, you need 12 blood badges and 3 Wilted Berberus Bunch. Now, here's the thing. To make the blood badge, you need two back knee fragments, two leech fragments, and a stack of coven seal, and two crocs motions. So what you need is 24 back knee fra back knee fragments, 24 leech supreme fragments, and 12 stacks of coven seal on top of 24 of every single crux. For me, it took a few hours, I'd say, of killing tier 3 rift stalkers, but after you go through the pain of doing that, you, my friend, are free of time charms until the mountain comes out. You can't see it from here, I guess, but you see the point. Getting the last one sucks, getting the Mirrorverse one can be very painful and time consuming. So be ready to spend a lot of money doing this. But once you get to a point where you're doing Vampire Slayer, you will slowly make your money back. Slowly, very slowly, trust me. I It took me a while. I mean, I'm not making my money back yet. I've visited the Rift 138 times. So have fun. Try to beat all the quests in the area. Don't just go for the time charms. It will not go very well because you need as much time as you can. Have fun.